Hi guys and welcome. If you want to start your own business in Shopify, this video can be handy for you because I want to show you all the main things that you need to know to fast and easy set up your first online store on Shopify. This is very great platform actually is one of the best in the world to sell everything to uh, manage all your marketing campaigns to add new features and um, um, applications that will help you to sell and uh, in this video I, I saw all those videos like tutorials for one hour long or, or three hour long or somebody even uh, sells a courses on, on how to how to set up your first store this is absolutely for free um, and uh, if you're gonna use our link in the description panel that we left will be appreciated because it's referral and we are gonna get some bonuses if you will use this button considering this video as useful uh, so not to waste your time I'm gonna jump straight to business and first step that you need to make to start your business and Shopify is start a free trial definitely it's very very easy you need to uh, provide the platform with your email address create a password and create your store name actually this store name can be difficult if you don't have your own idea for business it's better to have an idea for your business to start because uh, all the names like good store or nice shop uh, fantastic place to sell and, and some kind of that they are pretty occupied and uh, uh, I, I'm I'm sure that you want to be professional and you want to create a good and nice business name so um, it can be difficult to choose from a available one one because mm, there's not much names are um, available on Shopify because a lot of people using it but you're gonna handle it then you're creating your store uh, the platform will ask you a couple questions about the type of your business about do you have products or not I will not show it to you not to waste your time you'll handle it by yourself for sure I want to show you what's inside so let's jump in okay this is the dashboard of Shopify and this is the spot where you will spend most of your time to launch and to handle all the things with your business now uh, this is the main this is a home page here you can add a product customize theme and add a domain we're going to talk about all of this later uh, get an old Shopify with guided video tutorials you can learn uh, because the platform has a lot of uh, educational materials uh, for those who are just starting uh, and so on uh, what are all those buttons want to want to say that orders in orders it's absolutely clear that you will have all the information about your orders here all the drafts and abandoned checkouts now I'm just created this account to show you how the things are looks from the inside uh, and products here you will add all products remove all products uh, take care about all the inventory about all the all the like be keeping track about how how much physical items you have and and all those if you planning to sell uh some clothes maybe or 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 some things that have sizes and colors and so on inventory is just best solution for that and you don't need to use the external software uh, for that customers this is where you can manage your custom information and view their purchase history this is very important part of um, of this um, this platform because if somebody uh, made a purchase from you you know who are those people and you can you can work with them you can send them emails and you can build your like sales list yeah analytics it's pretty clear also there are tons of information available for you and when you're gonna uh, run your online store it's gonna be great to see all the analytics now uh, all the reports and live view uh, marketing this is the spot where you can make all of your marketing campaigns create new 
uh, and and so on and so on and marketing apps we're gonna talk about the apps a little bit later just in minutes uh, but to mention that this is very powerful thing to make your business grow faster because there are tons of uh, SMS marketing flows yeah cool feature why not uh, your uh, customers will receive uh, the text messaging um, the text messages for example for those who abandon their cards and and you want to remind them and and so on you want to promote your new products and so on so there's a lot of options in uh, applications that will help you um, uh, that will help you to to make your business work better uh, campaigns you can run cam the cam ad campaigns from here in automation this is what uh, will allow you to slip when your market is working by itself uh, discounts from this spot you can make the discount codes and automatic discounts uh, the coupons and promotions and so on apps that's what i was talking previously about there's a lot of things that you can add in design planning shipping and bookkeeping and and there's tons of interesting features that you can add uh so let's jump to sales channels that's what i'm talking about you have the online store in this video we're going to talk about only online store but you need to know that you can add uh, like point of sale buy button to any your blog or, or any external website uh, you can use messenger and google and facebook and shopify chat and, and so on and this um this is great opportunity to make more sales channels because in in this case your products will be available to more uh, more potential customers that can buy your goods so let's jump to online store and that's uh, what i want to show you how you can set up your store so first of all you can add a product first from this home you can add a product you can customize theme and add a domain this is all the three steps actually that you need to make uh, to launch your business on Shopify uh, let's go to online store back and here you have themes blog posts pages navigation domains and preferences um, it's better not to use the default um, layout yeah uh, default theme to to launch because uh, those people who buying some goods on uh, Shopify they probably will uh, understand that you just launched a default theme yeah it's much more better to use uh, other already pre-built theme and you can explore free themes or visit the theme store and buy some yeah let's explore the themes simple boundless venture narrative supply debut this is a current brooklyn minimal so you can choose one of those and customize one of those and actually it doesn't matter which one you're going to choose because the editing features are pretty the same and that's what i want to show you so let's customize this default theme and you can understand how things are happening here actually it's not drag and drop as you can um, as you can know that there are tons of uh, available applications and platforms that allows you to build your own website or a landing page it doesn't matter and if we're talking about the website uh, it's much more easier actually to um, use drag and drop features to build the site but here is like everything systemated and um it's also blocks it's also sections uh, but to manage all the things like you need to jump into each section and um, here you can a lot of things to change a lot of things to play with uh, and first of all I want to say that there are tons of free images that you can use in a lot of categories for example food and you see there are tons of stock photos 
that can suit to your business maybe it's some kind of bakery and and you want to use this uh this picture and it's absolutely free so it, uh, if you don't have is just launching your business and you don't have maybe money or time to create um professional looking nice quality content for your business definitely it's better to use um pre-made stock photos in high quality uh, from the library that is available and it's absolutely free so let's just use this this picture we're gonna press select here and you have image alignment layout full width or fixed width yeah i don't like this shape i like always the full width it looks modern uh, section height extra small maybe or uh, medium or it's gonna be the big one and so on and you cannot change the tax here you need to uh, make all this uh, right here in the left hand menu and it's not the traditional way because uh, in, in in all of those available website building platforms is just drag and drop you click in on the tax and you change in the tax and it's uh, a little more handy as for me but uh, of course you can you can set everything up straight from here and and like it's just dummy tags just to show you how things are happens and and that's pretty similar to uh, to all of those and you will handle it for sure it's better to use your own content as i told you already but if you don't have one now uh, you can use all all this uh, free images uh, and, and there's a lot of lot of things to to explore and to use maybe uh, you have a steakhouse or or some else things and you can use all those images uh, you can change all the text you can change all the things here and actually you can add a section uh how to remove the section for example testimonials uh they are here and you see the remove section button is down here so you cannot uh you cannot delete it straight from here you need to jump in the section and delete it from there or you can add a sections that are already pre-made and it depends on type of your business what are you selling what are you making or is physical store for example you need to add a map or uh, it's like blog posts and so on it, de it depends on the type of your business and what are you trying uh what are you trying to to build and to launch yeah that's why um, it's up to you how you can um optimize and how you can customize your theme uh, it's absolutely customizable as any other external um, web page builders but it's a little bit mm, it's a little bit un not the traditional way yeah as we uh, as we using and uh, here from home we can add a product i want to show you this because it's very important and actually if you don't have a product you don't have something to sell yeah uh, and all those things are pretty clear but a lot of people don't know what to do with that yeah you can type a title you can add a description you can insert video or insert image here but i suggest you to use this media uh, spot to add some files to describe your your items that you're selling the pricing for example it's like 200 i don't know what's happening with the currency but it doesn't matter the current price the price that you compare at like for example it was 350 and it will be crossed in, in your item and here's cost per item for example you buy it for 75 uh, bucks and charge tax on this project uh, on this product you see the margin you see the profit that you're getting from one sale you can charge tax on this product and probably you will if you in um, united states or other country so keep keep eye on that inventory 
um, you can make the ASCII use stuckip and unit you can make the barcode and this is really really powerful platform to to build uh, online store with a lot of items uh, so it's not a landing page actually when where you can sell just one item one product here you can take care about all of your stock about all of um, available items and and so on and so on and it's very convenient and very very easy it seems like it's difficult but it's not uh, so when are you gonna start it depends one more time it depends on type of your business and type of the items that you uh, that you'll try to sell that's why it's up to you to customize your theme to add a lot of products I'm not launching this uh, online shop I've just created this video to show you all the steps and to show you the main main things that you need to know uh, here in preferences you need to take care about all the things before you launch like homepage title meta description uh, social sharing image uh, Google Analytics you need to add this code and Facebook pixel customer privacy uh, and password protection you need to pick a plan to disable the password and that, that's pretty it that's all you need to know to launch to start the editing feature is a pretty simple the uh, add to add a product is also pretty simple and everything is absolutely understandable and you need to spend some time actually to add all things and to set up everything and it's better to set up everything when you're using a trial version and then you can select a plan and from $29 per month for those who just starting a business and and all all the things you can see you can compare all the all the things here recommended of course is recommended choose this plan to 79 bucks or to 199 and you have just online store and you can add more point of sales the you can add more sales channels and that's pretty it guys it's up to you to run your business in the way that you want uh, I showed you all the core things that you need to know and that you will use to set up your store. It depends on the type of your business. Uh, it depends how much items do you have, how much um, options on each item do you have. But this is very powerful platform uh, to run your um, business and internet. And I suggest you to try at least. So I hope this video was useful. I hope you enjoyed uh, I wish you big profits and I wish you to start soon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hope this was useful. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.